Hey guys, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Welcome back to Mike's Cards. Um, it's just gonna be a mail day video. All of these cards were purchased between March 10th and April 1st on um, mostly eBay, but there was also an Instagram live sale where I picked up some stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and start with that Instagram live sale. Picked up a lot of Go-Go's, got a Silver, Base, Emergent, uh, Contenders, three Optics, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Base Donruss, got a Jordan Bone Pink Ice, couple Bone Prism Base, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Based on Russ Bones. Um, those are just mostly going to be a hold for now. Wait and see if those guys do anything. They don't really sell for a whole lot right now, so just hang on to those and see what happens. And then the last two cards in this lot that I picked up were a base Don Russ Ja Morant. It's uh, pretty off-centered, so probably not really a grading candidate, but someone will want it either way at some point. And then a blue laser, RJ Barrett, blue velocity, sorry. Forgot what that was called for a second. I think centering looks pretty good on this card. Should grade fairly well. The surface looked good when I checked it out. And then that whole lot cost me, uh, let's see, $31 shipped to me. Uh, I think I overpaid a little bit on this guy, but you know, altogether it kind of balances out and evens out the cost. Uh, let's see. Next pickups, these are mostly for uh, PC. I'm kind of starting to branch out into hockey and grab some cards. So we've got an Elias Pettersson Young Guns. Um, I paid $58 shipped for this. Uh, I definitely overpaid on this based on the recent sales I was looking at, but the seller had really good pictures and this card looked really good. Um, I think it should get a 10 if I send it into grade, so. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure about on these, because like I said, I'm just starting to get into hockey, is the centering on these young guns. Um, but we'll see how that goes, I guess. Uh, I picked up uh, Kako young guns. Um, I paid $24 shipped for this. Once again, probably overpaid a little, but the pictures of this card looked great. Same with the Pedersen, I think this should grade a 10. The only thing I'm concerned with is the upper edge here. I've seen some of the young guns. I don't know if it's just uh, the way they come out of the factory and how they cut them, if some of those upper edges are just beat up. I don't know how they take that into consideration when grading, but yeah. Picked up the Jack Hughes. Young Guns as well. Paid $36 shipped for this one. We'll see how he turns out, I guess. Picked up the Kirby Dock Young Guns. Uh, friend of mine's a big Blackhawks fan. He said he likes this guy, so figured why not give him a shot. I don't think any of these that I've shown so far are going to be for flips or profit at all. I think these will mostly be PC for me. Picked up a couple Morgan Frost. Uh, this was just kind of a wild card pickup. Um, he was kind of cheap. Maybe he'll do something. Maybe he won't. Um, we'll see about that. 
and then picked up four pure ink vols. Um, once again, another wild card. These were pretty cheap, so I figure why not pick up a few of them. Maybe be able to flip them later if he ends up doing something. Um, and then this whole lot, the four ink vols, two frost, and the dock ended up uh, 3150 shipped. And I was looking at raw copies of this Sebastian Ajo Young Guns. Um, I think they were going for around 14 or $15 when I was looking. Um, I saw this guy had this uh, True Gem copy listed at 35 I want to say, maybe 40 um, I shot him an offer for 30 and he accepted. So this was 34 shipped to me. Um, I figure if I'm going to grade, I may as well go ahead and get a, a good copy if it's really not going to cost that much more than the raw copy. That way you know you're getting the a good solid card. And then we'll shift away from hockey here. Um, go to some baseball pickups. Um, picked up a few Alvarez lots of the the base. Um, I'd say I probably have 15 to 20 of this card right now. The average prices on these are somewhere around $5 on eBay. Um, Hard to even out based on, you know, whatever shipping is. They fluctuate a lot. Um, and then that was thrown in in a lot that I bought. And then I picked up the SP. Um, I paid 69 shipped for this. Um, and based on the eBay sales, that's pretty average for what these are going for. Um, so I didn't get any kind of a huge deal on this, but this will probably be PC if this grades well. Um, once again, I check all the pictures on eBay. Usually whoever has the best pictures um, gets my business for the most part because you can really tell what you're getting most of the time. Uh, then same thing, Deluxe. I picked up a, a lot of the base. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to show every single one of the base card, but... Um, Got the SP, sorry about the painter's tape, but um, once again, great pictures. Uh, I paid 59 shipped for this. And then the Lux on average are going for, you know, three, four, five dollars on eBay for each one based on shipping. The more you buy, the better of a deal you can probably get. Um, the SP was picked up on eBay, and then most of my base cards that you'll see from 2020 Series 1 were picked up from a Facebook group. <clears throat> and then the bow. Pop this open. So we got the SP. Um, once again, all the SPs are probably going to stay PC. Um, the base, I'll probably end up trying to grade and then flip at some point uh, once the grading companies open back up. The SP bow and the base. Uh, this is the only SP that I didn't buy on eBay. This came in the in the lot that I bought off of Facebook, including most of my base bows. And then this I thought was a pretty big steal. The seller on eBay had this listed at, um, I want to say 35 bucks or best offer. Um, and he just had a picture up. It was kind of, you know, just in a square like this of the three base and then the, um, Chrome. I think they call this the retrofractor from 2020 heritage. And it's numbered to 571 there. Um, so he had a picture like this up, had it for listed for 35. I offered him 28 bucks, and he accepted. And then um, t 
total shipped, that was $32.50 to me. And then when I got it in, it had another base card in there. So there, there were only three pictured, but I got four base and then the retrofractor. So that's probably the best deal that I've gotten over the past month on cards. And then I picked up a 2011 Freddie Freeman Bowman Chrome Refractor. Um, this card looks pretty good. This was only $5 shipped. I figure, you know, obviously Trouts is beyond expensive. I can't really afford it right now. But this guy is um, pretty good. People really talk him up a lot. His stats are pretty good. And... Um, I figure if I can pick up a refractor of this for $5 shipped to me, that's that's pretty hard to beat. So I had to go for that. And then I got this Gavin Lux uh, Gold Parallel out of 2020 Series 1. So this was included in the lot of base series one that I was picking up on the Facebook sale. Um, the guy did not have uh, this pictured at all. He just kind of, you know, fanned out the the base rookies, and I guess this part was covered. I didn't even see it in the picture. Um, and later on, I was looking through them, and I was like, oh, I did not even realize this was in here. Um, and I, he definitely didn't factor this into the price of the lot when he sold it to me. So I don't think that he even knew that this was in here. So I contacted the guy and let him know. Um, he was pretty open with me before I told him about this, that he was a new seller. Um, he wanted to ask how his shipping was, if he needed to work on anything. So I was honest with him. So I just wanted to be honest back and let him know that this was in there. I told him that, um, you know, the next time I get paid, I'd be willing to send him a few extra dollars if he wanted to uh, kind of recoup the costs on this. And he at first said, yeah, you know, maybe send me 30 bucks the next time you get paid. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. That's more than fair. Um, uh, but then probably a couple days later, he shot me a message and said, you know what? Don't worry about it. You can just keep it. So um, pretty cool. I basically got this for free. Um, or well paid five dollars for it or whatever it was the corner up here is not great and the corner down here you know they both show a little bit of whitening so I really don't think this would get a 10 but you know to get it for free that's pretty cool um, probably hang on to this and see what happens with him um, but yeah that's gold parallel uh, and then the last card I'm going to show is a PC pickup. Um, just a base refractor from Topps Chrome 2003 of LT. Number to 599 down there. Um, as soon as I bought this, I regretted it. I definitely overpaid for it. But, you know, you learn things. Um, and I'm not really one to cancel an order on eBay, so I just went ahead and let it ship um but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed um let me know in the comments which one of these were your uh, favorite card for my pickups and uh, we'll see you next time